Aeromont's kind of honoring me with the, retro, I called it recollective because I, I thought retrospective sounded too terminal. So recollective has a little nicer tone to it. It's about recalling memories and every one of these pieces has a connection to a, a memory of a person and a travel experience, a conversation. And um, so that's why I chose the word recollective. Two pieces were made when I was a studio assistant in 1984, I think. And I, somehow I kept them. I don't know how they made it through all my travels and, and transitions, but they were fired in the Aeromont's Anagama kiln, which is a Japanese style kiln that was built in 81. And they really are, what I think they really reflect what comes out of a wood fire kiln fired for four days. So all the ash and all the pattern and the flames are all results from the flame and the ash in four days of firing. So I always loved these and I never gave them away or sold them. Somehow they were always under the bed and now they're on the wall. So these were made most recently 2015 to 2013 and they're earthenware with red clay with white slip and they're fired in electric kiln. So they're the only pieces in this whole exhibition that are fired with the electric kiln. That could be um, part of getting older and not wanting to crawl in wood kilns and fire them for three days, or it could just be when I went to Watershed and I got to work with red clay, I kind of like the, uh, the contrast and the texture that you can create with white on red. And they're both representing architecture that's what I've been working with throughout these 25 years is looking at architecture from different cultures, indigenous arch architecture from Mexico, and South America, China, Japan, and uh, that was my most, uh, that was the, kind of the underlying influence has been architecture is what we talked about.